No, just lay him. Just lay him. Just lay him. Sorry. Good. Nasty cloud rolling in. Okay, bye, Connor. Bye. Bye, Rex. We're at three aisle and they're parting ways. Mm -hmm. Enjoy forks. We're not actually parting ways. We're going to go the 25 kilometer way. Yeah, we're just going to stop you all the way. Bye. See you later. Bye. Make some trail friends for us. So we left Beatty Lake at like 8.40 a.m. Got here pretty fast. Just had a snack break. Liam's taking a dump. And then it's up north over Ridge. The weather still looks pretty nice. Um, yeah. Uh, they just lent us, well, gave us some of their snacks because, again, we're light on food. That seems to be how we roll. Um, but, yeah, tomorrow's the last day, and I don't know how I feel about that. That's... Uh, both an awesome achievement and kind of sad to see the trip end, but I get to go to a hotel tomorrow night, so what can I complain about? Anyways, we'll hit you back on North Over Ridge. I'm sure there'll be lots of videos and photos happening up there. It's very picturesque, so catch you on the flippity floop. pretty calm right now so I'm gonna talk fast we just got up to this little pass we gained the ridge yeah. we're heading up not that way we're heading up this way up there and it looks like it's gonna be super sick there's an epic view okay. it's not windy right now. Oh. epic view to the west epic view to the east oh no it's getting windy epic view to the north and we get to do north over ridge and Rex and Connor Okay, winds calm, gotta tuck now. We're on Northover Ridge, we're approaching the summit, which we're not gonna do because we realize how exposed it is and it's really just for climbers who have ropes and more experience than us. So we're gonna go right of the ridge on the other trail where the backpackers go and head down to Astor Lake and there's excellent views of Northover Summit and there's Joffrey there and I think that's Wakanambe there and there's Liam there. And then over here we get the ridge that we did. We did a sketchy part back there. Liam got a video of that. Over there we did not slow down and we got to Thunder Mountain. <gasps> It's a beautiful day. It is. It's the best part of the trip, I think. Flow Lake was excellent as well. Beatty Lake was really nice last night. But these views, man, these views are crazy. And Connor and Rex, you're missing out, man. Yeah, because then when you get home, you just sleep so damn well. Anyways, the views are just so good. There's a cool glacier down here. Lots of nice ridges, peaks, more glaciers over there on Joffrey. The rays of sunshine. We just had a huge thing of wind and we were just leaning into it. It was... Okay, so we came from over here today. That's the peak above Beatty Lake, so there's a lake tucked in there. Through here to Three Isle. All the way up over there, across this ridge. Now we're here. Now this is the summit that I thought we were supposed to do, but that's an intense scramble. So there is another trail just goes on the side of it. Um, that'll drop us to Astor Lake. Our last camp on the trip. <laughs> you know, I, I, 
I'll both miss and not miss the tent. It'll be a bittersweet mm -hmm. goodbye. Exactly. The food I don't think I'll miss. Um, the views I will miss. The lakes I will miss. The smells. Some of the plants smell nice. But basically anything that we touch smells bad. Our clothes, our sleeping bags, our tent. But that can all be washed away. What will you miss most about the trip, Liam? Mm. Oh, the views. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know we haven't gotten to Aster Lake yet, but what's your favorite campsite so far, not including Aster? Well, BD then Bidgeney. BD? Yeah, for sure. BD and then Howard Douglas Lake. Fair enough. I think I'm BD and then Float. Yeah. Very pretty. So yeah, there will be lots, lots of memories to recall, photos to look over. But yeah, we get one more night. We have a big, big dinner to feast on, and then tomorrow, 3 p.m. pickup from the parking lot. <laughs> but we're going to a hotel, so it's like there's still more experiences coming up, anyways. Mm -hmm. So yeah. The views are great. The wind's calm right now, which is rare. It's been gusting really hard. You can see a couple of hikers just there. Had a quick chat with them. They were staying at Three Isle tonight. And yeah, it's uh, oh, it's an epic second last day. They really drained the tanks, all the elevation today. And we'll be, I think we'll be ready to go home. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, I gotta get some snacks in me and then we can continue on. I'm at Aster Lake Backcountry Campground. I am. However, Liam still has to do the creek crossing of death. So we came from north over Ridge Route and we hiked along the north side of the lake, which I guess is a mistake because the campground is on the south side of, I think it's called Foch Creek that drains out of Aster Lake. And so we're coming around not realizing how big this thing is, but it's it's big. I mean, the lake is bigger than I thought, so of course the drainage coming out of it is bigger. Um, so the alternative, of course, is hike, what, like another kilometer somewhat bushwhacky back around the lake. Uh, but we found a decent rapidy section, like shallower rapids, you know, where we could tell it wasn't too deep. And uh, I just crossed uh, without any error or peril. Uh, there were some sharp rocks though. It was not necessarily a comfy walk across. Um, Liam's really taken his time uh, waterproofing every single thing in case he falls in. I didn't really do that, but maybe I should have. I don't know. You know, it's always like, nah, you don't need to do that until the one day when you fall in. So yeah, I'll make sure to get a video of Liam crossing in case he does fall in, because of course, we can laugh because all this stuff's waterproofed, so it's fair enough, it's justified. <laughs> no, nah, you wouldn't want to fall on this, it's freaking cold, man. And the last night of the trip too, that would really suck. So I will get a video of him crossing in just a moment when he finishes whatever he's doing. And then hopefully there's a tent pad for us because I realize now we don't have a booking. Um, I suppose we could try for uh, Try for Upper Kananaskis Lake, but it's pretty late and we've been moving slow. And this creek crossing especially is gonna make us want dinner now. So hopefully there is a tent pad that we can perhaps borrow. I don't like to camp when I don't have a permit, but anyways, what can you do? Last night, hopefully people are nice, you know, it's, it's whatever. Anyways, Liam is about to cross, so I will Record again when that happens and look at the mountains. He's spotted a little man in his underpants. And it looks like he's thinking of crossing the creek. What kind of madman crossed this big flowing creek? Anyways, here we go. Resonating. 
So we're in the tent at Astor Lake uh, for our last night of the trip. Yeah. Uh, we just went up to the lake, checked it out. There was a nice sunset. I did a time lapse and a shot, a cool shot. We'll see how that turns out. Um, yeah. I'm pretty ready to get home. I'm. Uh, I can't say that I'll miss the sleeping bag, but I have gotten used to it. Yeah. I've gotten used to the, you know, feet and boots every morning and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and today was definitely the coolest day, I think. Oh, or yeah, at least sure. second coolest. Og Lake to Assiniboine was pretty good. That was pretty good. Um, but yeah, lots of great views on Northover Ridge. Now we're in bed early, so we get to play video games. And then tomorrow it's a short 10.8 kilometer downhill day past Fossil Falls, past Hidden Lake to up in at Kananaskis Lake, and then we get to go to a hotel. Oh my god. We're gonna smell so bad. They might just kick us out because we Who smell knows? so bad. Look at some of those giant bugs. Probably clog the shower up with dirt. Anyways, it's been a great trip. What has been your single favorite day or memory or thing or anecdote or. Um, probably today, like going over that ridge and then like yeah. coming down it, sliding down it was really fun. Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. views. And then Flo Lake was pretty fun when we were dancing and warming our Oh yeah, when, when we, we did our sun. <laughs> our sun dance on the beach. Yeah, though. it was like our first yeah. time in the sun. It was really good. That was good. pretty good. I think my favorite moment was um, swimming in Og Lake. Og, that was also really Cinnaboyne good. far off in the distance and the weather was really nice that day. The weather's been mostly yeah. nice the whole trip. Like before we went out I was expecting about like like one third rainy days you know probably like five or six rainy days and we've only really had three so. which is pretty good and it only really rained while we were hiking probably like one day yeah barely. One and a bit. yeah most of the rain we've had has been over nine and it stops when we wake up so we've mm -hmm. been very lucky in that sense um so yeah I guess that's that's all there is to say I mean yeah. there'll be a vlog tomorrow so we'll have many memories to recount then yeah, uh, but for, for sure. now there's video games to play. <laughs>